I'm going to briefly show um, the importance of loose principal name and um, SAM account name effect on Kerberos SSO for um, Azure using the um, Apple Kerberos extension. So here I've got my user, I'm signed in, um, test.user at welshgeek.net, um, and uh, I got a Kerberos ticket for that. Okay. Um, and just to show you how that looks on the directory, I've got my um, user here, um, test user, email address. Um, the important information here is um, test.user uh, t12345 um, at welshgeek.net. If we come across to the attribute editor, we can see um, here how those translate. Uh, user principal name is t12345 at welshgeek.net. And the SAM account name is test.user. Um, and in fact, what we can do, um, let's, um, let's sign out here and just show the effect. Um, I can sign in as T12345. And I get the code off again. It, it, it's picking up the, the SAM account name at domain. Uh, if I was to sign out here and sign in as test.user, same user. Um, we'll end up with the, the same principle uh, and we get our um, Kerberos tickets. And so what that means is well, if I open up Safari, I'm going to do a web inspector as well. Um, you'll see the, um, the trace here. If I go to uh, outlook.com or outlook.com slash welshgeek.net um, to trigger the SSO, you'll see it will try and sign me in. I think it transparently signed me in. I don't actually have an email account on this, so I'll get an error at this point. Um, but um, the salient point um, here is if we scroll down, um, it tried to open up auto, auto login, Microsoft Azure AD SSO. It hit this one. Um, that sent a, a challenge and uh, this is the, the Kerberos uh, blob being sent across to auto login dot Microsoft Azure AD SSO.com. So transparent SSO um, occurred um, for this. Um, and if we, we come across um, to my Chrome browser, you can see here how that uh, looks in Azure. Here's my test user, T12345, is the user principal name when it's synchronized up to Azure. Um, and uh, if we come into the properties, um, we can see um, T12345 uh, there, on-premise SAM account name here. Um, and if we come into um, sign-in logs, we can see that um, the user T12345 signed in. Um, the, the thing I'm trying to highlight here is there is a um, there is a distinction. There's a difference between the user principal name, as far as uh, as far as Kerberos is concerned, and the principal name um, that is sent up to Azure and uh, how it sees the user and everything. Now. Let's go ahead and change a couple of things. So we could change um, the SAM account name here to T12345. Um, and let's change the user principal name here. Uh, test.user. Click apply. Click OK. Um, and uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, sign out here. One, two, three, four, five. At this point, you see it, it's changed. Obviously, it's uh, it's picked up the, the, the change that's happened on the directory. Um, and uh, if we come to here and we'll, we'll close this browser session down, here are all the cookies. Um, you can see the, the new ticket here, T12345. We open up Safari. Now we'll go to the same URL. Outlook um, forward slash Welshgeek.net. It's going to try the SSO. 
but it still succeeds. So the fact that um, there's a mismatch, you know, if you actually think about what has happened, where I've changed that. Um, if we come back to this test user here, an overview. Um, still believes it's uh, T12345, but the synchronization hasn't hasn't happened. Nothing has changed um, in Azure at this point. Um, I would need to come into my synchronization here, um, and uh, here's what we'll do: is um, we'll run through each of these. We'll um, run the, the, the import. Run the import there. Um, we'll run the synchronization between on premise and cloud. And run the export. So that's the process of um, telling my on-premise AD to it to do the, uh, the agents to import all the data, synchronize across between the two of them and then re-import them in. And so if I, um, if I refresh this, um, we see that it's now test.user at welshgeek.net. Um, and we come across here and we'll see that those things have changed on-premise now as T12345. Um, and um, what we'll do um, you know, come in here and close the browser down. So now things are all synchronized back across. Um, I'll open this, I'll sign out. Um, I can now sign back in. Um, T, well, it doesn't really make it great there. Test.user. Um, It still picks it up as the UTN. Um, I come here and I can see the K-list. And I will open up Safari um, and go to outlook.office.com slash welshgeek.net. Close all that down. What I'm going to do Close that. So we've got nothing cash. That works. Let's see if it does. We still see the SSO um, happening here. There's the iframe headers, SSO headers, and it's still sent the negotiate uh, across, resulting in a 200 OK. So I'm signed in. So the user principal name and the SAM account name are kind of interchangeable. The fact that the, the Kerberos ticket, you know, still went and got the Kerberos ticket and presented it, and they're interchangeable, I was still able to single sign on into Azure regardless of those, um, uh, those uh, tickets uh, being different, those disconnects uh, between SAM account name and user principal name uh, doesn't affect Azure being able to sign the user in. So I think uh, Microsoft have done uh, an okay job on this, on being able to allow customers who might have a disconnect or a legacy domain um, that uh, interchanges between um, SAM account name and user principal name. Um, hope this is uh, useful. Mark at peacekiller.com.